Hi, it's Len from Hero Technical Solutions. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a custom button that will allow you to do things like launch web pages, navigate, or create an update records. Uh, basically, to build a button that will speed up um, or eliminate a repetitive task. So, in this particular scenario, we have uh, we have a list of leads, and we want to call the leads. And if we don't get an answer, we still want to log a call. That way we can tell who's making how many calls in a day, um, how many times we need to call someone before we get through to them. We can get a lot of good metrics out of it. However, getting those metrics requires us to record those call details, and that can be time consuming, um, per perhaps even to the point where we start to question if, it, if it's worthwhile or not. So if we want those numbers, but we don't want to burn a lot of time um, recording the call details, that is, a great, uh, that is a great use case for a custom button. So I'll show you uh, the process that we have and how we're trying to uh, um, speed this up. So here's my list of leads and I'll pull one up. And so what would happen is I would try to uh, um, call this person. And if I didn't get an answer, I would go in and log a call. So I'd go to open activities here. I click add new call. And I'd say that the call was, um, the subject was you know, no answer. Call purpose is prospecting. Call type is outbound. Um, and then we want to make this a completed call. And if there's no answer, we probably don't care about the time too much, so we'll put in zero minutes and zero seconds. And then we'll go ahead and hit save. Okay, now that didn't take that long, but if you are trying to dial through a list and spend as little time as possible on the ones where you aren't getting answers and spend your time connecting with people or making as many calls as possible, that can add up pretty quickly. So what, uh, what we did is, is uh, we asked Tyler to create a custom button. And so Tyler added this thing called the no answer button. So when you pull up one of these, uh, one of these leads, instead of going through that process, if you don't get an answer, instead of hitting, going to the activities there and logging it, You'll just click the no answer button. Takes a second. Confirms, you can, you can have it confirm or not. This is an optional thing. It'll tell you the call was recorded. And if you look, you can see that this went to three activities and that it logged for us, call attempted, no answer. If I click into it, I can see the details on it. It says it was a prospecting call was the purpose. Call duration was zero. It's linked to this lead. It has the, at the time uh, duration, at duration is, is zero. Okay, so that then Essentially what we're doing is we're calling the phone number. If we don't get an answer, we whack the no answer button and we click the arrow to go on to the next call. Uh, drastically speeding up the number of, uh, of, of dials we can, we can make uh, in the amount of time that we have to make calls. The other thing that we wanted to do here is we're also bumping up the number of um, times that we, we don't get an answer. So every time you hit the no answer button, that's going to go up by one. So let's do that again. So we'll hit no answer. Okay, and it's going to increase, and it, it bumped up to, uh, to two there. So now, in my list, I can have people fall off the list if I make five calls with no answer. You know, so you decide on what your rules are, but in our example, we said that once we get no answer five times, we're gonna drop them off the, the list and, and keep moving. So I believe that James has had four calls right now. He's on our list, and so there's a no answer count of four. So now if I call, call him and get no answer a fifth time, then calls recorded, shows up as five, and if I go back to my list view now, then no, I'm on, you know what, I'm on my all leads view. I have a view set up called leads to call that will only show me leads that have not had five no answers yet. Okay, so, so the cu custom button can really speed things up. Um, they're not super hard to create, but they do require knowledge of the Zoho scripting language. So. I want to show you this example, and then if you want to uh, uh, shoot us your email address, we will send you a copy of the script, and we'll also include you on our email list so that um, you'll get future videos when we cover other uh, tips like this and show ways that you can customize and get more mileage out, out of Zoho. So go ahead and sign up if you want that. I'm going to show you how we built this. So you can basically copy and paste Tyler's work right into your system. Now, it does require the enterprise edition of Zoho CRM, so you need to be on um, enterprise either CRM Enterprise on its own, or if you have Zoho One that includes the Enterprise Edition of CRM. All right, so how does this happen? Well, there's two parts to look at. One is look at the our view that only shows um, only shows records that have 
uh, less than one, or sorry, less than, than five no answers. And then we'll look at the custom button and we'll look at the customization on the form as well. So let's start off by looking at the custom field that was added to track how many calls. So if I go into setup, go to modules and fields, and go to leads, and edit the layout, and click on standard layout. So we added a field, there was a long integer, and we called it no answer count. So if you're setting up the exact same thing for yourself and you want to copy our script, you'll add a field to your leads layout uh, called, called no answer count. Okay, then once that's there, that will uh, give it a place to, to add the number of times that you've had no answer. All right, so I have no changes, so I will cancel out of there. The other thing that we set up was in the leads, we set up this view called leads to call. And so what we did for that is we created a new view for leads, and I'm just gonna call this um, demo leads to call. And we said that the criteria for this was simply if the, now you might have more specific criteria that narrows down your leads further than just how many times if they had you know, five calls, but we'll say that the no answer count has to be less than five for them to show up on the list. And I decided that I wanted to have the phone number added into this list as well. And I might like to see how many times we called with no answer. Okay, so I'm gonna save that. So now I've created my view and people will drop off this list as I've called them five times. So I can work through them. What I like to do is bring up the record, log any details, and then just instead of going back to the list, hit this arrow here and it'll take me to the next one and then I can work my way through one at, one at a time. Okay, to set up the custom button, which is up here, if you hit this drop down and go to manage buttons, you can see a list of them. And you could have clicked create button straight away there as well, but we would go in here and we'd say new button. This will take us to the, the leads because that's where we want this. And we'll click on new button and then we'll name this um, now you might not use the word button there. I put button because we already have one called no answer and I want to make sure I know the difference. And then where would you like to place the button? Well we have it on the page where we can view the record. You have different choices where this button goes. And then you want this to, we're going to write a function. So this is where we're going to drop in the function. Again, um, we'll send you the code for this if you want to uh, send us your email so we can, uh, we can send that over to you. And then you'll go in here and the important part is that you'll edit the arguments uh, for this, this function, function. So this is where we pass the lead ID so that we know who to create the call for and which, one, which lead to, to increment. And if I just back out of here, um, we'd go ahead and we would just save that and, and we're done and it works. I'm going to go into the one that Tyler created and just show you that in his code, he's got this um, value called lead ID. So if you're adding this, you need to make sure that in edit arguments, that you call this lead and then a capital ID and you pass to it the, the lead ID. And that's how the script gets, gets to know which lead we're running this against. And then the script basically grabs a current user um, and it figures out um, what, what purpose they want to use for the call. And then it creates the call and it updates the, the no answer count. All right, so one other thing I wanted to show you as well on this is that you can have different Call purposes based on the currently logged in user. So if you have five users using this and you have one person who makes prospecting calls and another user who does a different kind of call, there's a custom module here called No Answers. And you put in, you click New, and then you put in the purpose of the call here, and then you pick your name here, uh, or the name that you want that purpose to, to apply to. And so that way, the no answer button can do different things for different people. So, um, so you fill in this and then it, that is what gets added on to those calls that are, that are recorded. So if we go to one of those leads and we pull up, I think there's one in here. Okay. So that call attempted no answer. That's how we, that's how we set that. We set that up. Uh, I'm logged in as Tyler 
and whenever Tyler's using it, it puts in, um, it puts in, actually it's, it, the no answer part is always the same, it's the prospecting call that, uh, that changes. Okay, so you can set this up to be a little different for multiple users. Uh, so that, that's it. The custom buttons can, can do all sorts of things um, to, uh, to speed up repetitive processes. So I wanted to show that as, as an example. Um, and again, if you want the, uh, the, the code for this, we're happy to share that with you. And then you can set this up for yourself in, in, uh, in your system. Um, you'll just need to create the, the custom button. And again, um, just note, to note that uh, this requires custom buttons and custom functions, which are both uh, features of the Enterprise Edition, uh, which you can get standalone or as, as part of Zoho One. All right, that's it for now. Um, please uh, feel free to subscribe to our, uh, to our YouTube channel to, uh, to get future updates or uh, join, our, join our mailing list uh, so we can share more of these with you. All right, thanks.